quick vid, I'm just going to show you the differences between a deleted invoice or purchase invoice or a bill and avoided purchase invoice or sales invoice. So let's start with the sales invoices. I am just going to, uh, let's pick on a customer and I'm just going to duplicate one. So here we have one, I'm assuming they've got other invoices. So if I just come up here, I'm going to choose this one and I'm going to copy to a draft invoice. So it's the same details, just a new invoice with a new invoice number, new date and so on. So this is a draft. If I just cancelled it here, it would disappear as if it hadn't happened. If I save it, it then saves as a draft. So if I go back and view it now, because it's been saved in, in, in a draft format, unlike before where we were just creating it, but we hadn't set it in stone yet, so to speak. So we come up here to invoice options and we have the option to delete it. We click delete and it's gone. The other thing is if you click save and submit for approval, we need a due date, so we give them 30 days, shall we? save and submit for approval which a lot of people do because you have an approval system within your business i then go back to view that invoice and then now if i want to delete it come back up to invoice options i can still delete it because again it's in a pre-approval state but we've decided this is what we're going to charge the customer so we then approve it. If I now decide I no longer want this invoice, I come back up to invoice options, you will see that the delete option no longer exists. In its place we have void. So if I click on void, yes I do, I want to void it. If I then go back into Boom, so Boom FM, I just go to the customer record rather, Zero always takes you back to that screen. You will see that the invoice has disappeared. However, if you were to run a receivable invoices report, you could see that invoice in that report. Let's just quickly do an, an example with a supplier. It's exactly the same, but obviously the, the supply screen is slightly different. So we're going to use Bayside Wholesale. I'm going to copy this to a draft bill. Let's just put the day when we're allowed to pay it in there. Now I've just changed that because it's a repeat reference as you would have seen the little notice that came up so that it's set that we don't repeat an invoice number from a supplier so that we'll know if we've been charged twice or if there's an error possibly on their end. Anyhow, again, if we just save it, save as draft, we can delete. If we save and submit to approval, we can delete. And however, if we approve it here, and then we come up here, delete is gone, and again we have void. It's exactly the same process, even though you're dealing in different screens. The, the principle remains the same, and I hope that helps.